items I've watched at the time. Up next, one gaffed piece of promotional content observed for the 2020 Summer Olympic Games. The Olymp International Olympic Committee put out on the Olympics YouTube channel, so this is YouTube relevant, a piece of promotional content con comparing the land speed of various animals to Usain Bolt, who holds the world record in the 100 meter dash, if I am at the time, leading up to the 2020 Summer Olympic Games, held in 2021. Um, they compared it to Usain Bolt and Michael Phelps, and if, if one is holding an Olympic Games, one might want to get the world record correct for the 50 meter or 100 meter long course. So a long course pool is the, it's an Olympic sized swimming pool. They chose a really slow sprinter to compare it to, Michael Phelps. It's, that's called a gaffe. That's, that's called a blunder. It's called getting it wrong. It's called a mistake. It's called an error. Um, and it, it might've been deliberate and intentional. Uh, I don't know. But like the world record holder and both the long course 50 meter freestyle and 100 meter freestyle who had even competed at Olympic Games was Cesar Cielo of Brazil, Brazil, not Michael Phelps of the United States of America. And so I saw the promotional content and I was like, if there's any sort of like divine confirmation to not compete at the Olympic Games, it's when they cannot even get the world record holder correct in the shortest distance and fastest race in conducted in their own pool size the uh, so named olympic pool size so swimming pool okay so it should have been usain bolt and cesar cielo because cesar cielo held the world record in both the 50 meter and 100 meter freestyle long course leading up to the 2020 summer olympic games when the promotional content was published in 2021 and i was just like I cannot take this, this, it's cannibalistic, which gets me to this socially understood business model of the Olympic Games slash International Olympic Committee. We actually, so I've taken business college, uh, classes in college, and this one might've been at the University of Washington, where we talked about how the business model for the Olympic Games is cannibalistic. What does it mean for a business model to be cannibalistic? It means it starts having so much stuff that it can't even get its own stuff right. Case in point, Usain Bolt and Michael Phelps when it should have been Usain Bolt and Cesar Cielo. Um, so so uh, it's cannibalistic. So, so much happens and it doesn't care about the people who compete so much or it's understaffed enough that it gets stuff systematically wrong. Um, it starts choosing its favorites. So Americans like Michael Phelps over reality. Um, it starts to paint fantasy and, and fiction instead of reality. So that's part of cannibalism. Um, the other one is it, the socially observed and kind of agreed upon and understand model is when it wants a new sport, it attacks the pre-existing structure of the sport, drains it, makes scandals, makes up misinformation, drains of, as much of it can as its notability, like a, like rugby union, uh, like rugby. And then it takes the sport kills it by truncating it into a version like rugby sevens that is not the actual sport and then spits it out and says everything that happened to Olymp in the olympic games makes the other sport what it is it could not exist today without the olympic games and the truncated version played at the olympic games is better than the other sport which should now bow to the olympic games and bow to the international olympic committee because there is nothing better than the olympic games and i'm sorry that's a load of crap it's a horrible sporting event, <laughs> just reality, with the only exception being the 2002 Winter Olympic Games. So, I mean, there's been a, I don't know, even the people I know who love the Olympic Games and the International Olympic Committee and have thought about it seriously as like a career aspiration, all, I have not once met a person who genuinely thinks of the International Olympic Committee as a good thing. Um, so, there's that. I, there, there's a but the elites love it the people who compete love it so i just maybe that explains why people in my life haven't gone to the olympic games um when yeah so i don't know but that's my experience with the olympic games and watching it at the time and some of that stuff